Sometimes a program should get input from a file rather than from the keyboard. So we're going to learn file input and output in, in this video. And you can get input from a file by using the class input file stream. And you can write output to a file by using the class file output stream. And let's try out both. Let's start by writing a file. And then we're going to write another program that will read that file in Java. So to first start writing a file, let's create a file output stream object. File output stream. Call it FOS for file output stream and assign it to new file output stream. And then we're going to pass in the file name of the file we're going to try to open and write to. Let's call this myfile.txt. And we're going to need to import file output stream from java.io. So click on the quick fix and then also we're going to have to handle the on the unhandled exception file not found exception. So click on add throws declaration with that quick fix right there, which will add this throws clause in the main method header. And we'll learn more about exception handling later on. So let's not worry about that now. The next thing you want to do is create a print writer object. Print writer, call it PW and assign it to new print writer and pass in the file output stream object right there. And also import print writer also from java.io as well. And uh, let that add that import statement at the top using the quick fix. And then now let's try to write some stuff to the file by simply saying pw.println, the same print line method you're already familiar with that you've used for system.out. Print out some, some stuff. I love Java. Let's also print out an integer while we're at it. pw.println. 56 and when we're done let's close the print writer by saying pw.close so close it and when we're done let's run the program and see what happens so I don't get any output so but it does write to a file called myfile.txt which I don't see anywhere in my package explorer so what you could do is right click your package explorer on your Java project and select refresh and there it is myfile.txt let's open it up here it is I love Java in 56 and you know we should write some kind of statement that lets the user know that something was written to a file so let's print out a system.out.println and this will send this text to the console rather than to the file file myfile.txt was written to rerun the program and it should say my the file my file that text was written to let's double check my file that text and open it up and you can see that it just wrote over what was already there so if you run the program a few times nothing updates in my file that text it doesn't append to the file if you need it to append to the file simply add a comma true to the constructor of the file output stream and that will enable appending to the file. So let's run the program now again. And let's double check my file.txt. And now it wrote it twice. It's appending to the file. Let's click it. Let's run it a few times. And double check my file.txt. And you can see it updated. And it says I love Java multiple times and 56. So now let's read that file back to us and print the whole file's contents out on the console. And we're going to do that in this class called read file. We're going to start by creating a file input stream object. We'll call it FIS or file input stream. Assign that to new file input stream. And we'll pass in the file name that we want to read, myfile.txt. And we simply import file input stream from java.io and handle the exception the file not found exception on the main method header. And then we create a scanner object in call it in for input file and assign it to new scanner and pass the file input stream to it. Import scanner from java.util. Done. Now all we gotta do is loop through 
all the contents of the file line by line and just print out everything to the screen. We can do that by saying while in dot has next, meaning while there's something in the file, while we haven't reached the end of the file, we will print out system dot out dot print line in dot next line. That's all. Let's run the program. And here is the output of the file printing to the screen. Also, it's important to note here that Scanner has methods such as next int, next double, next, next line that you could use to read the data and store it in a, as a variable of the data type that you need it in as well.